your girl Destiny back at it with another video and I got my little daiquiri I got this from my weed man he's starting to sell drinks and stuff y'all <laughs> look free promo um because this is so good like he put real fruit and everything in it this shit tastes just like juice like tastes so good but I wanted to do a little story time. I want to do a little story time with y'all today and talk about <laughs> all my story times be like crazy story times. But I was gonna do it with my Stella Rosa. I still might because this time I was gone. Basically, it's gonna be on the time that i almost the first time i almost went to jail the first and the only time well it's not really the first time but it's like the first serious time like this is like no joke you would have been in jail for like five ten years at least no i would say five to ten i say three to five i would have at least been in jail for like three to five years over this so yeah this is a pretty out there dramatic thing like i didn't never i never thought i would get like get in trouble or go to jail or whatever i still have it shout out i still have went to jail but i was i was, I ain't gonna say i was scared but i almost was gone y'all i was almost gone so let me go ahead and get into the story since we're talking about it <laughs> so I'm going to start from the beginning, all the way at the beginning, because it's kind of a short story if I don't tell the beginning stuff. So, we're going to start with the beginning. So, I had gotten to a wreck, right? Because niggas in Dallas can't drive. People in Dallas cannot freaking drive. I don't know what y'all be doing. But y'all ass can't drive. So, yeah, I was driving. Uh, I was on the highway. Driving. Uh, I don't need to tell y'all where I was going. But I was on the highway. And, like, I was just driving like it was a normal little day. And um, it was like some traffic had slowed down in front of me. Like, it was kind of, like, quick and out of notice. But it's like if you was paying attention to traffic, you would have been able to stop type shit. So, I did that. I did that and I stopped or whatever. So, so I stopped and I was like, I ain't even, I ain't even gonna hold you. I was like, I was close to the other car uh, in front of me. I was close to him, but I wasn't like super, super close. It's like, you, you still be able to like walk in between the car, whatever, all that maybe you still you still would have been able to do that with that car that that was in front of me and then there was a car behind me like they did they had made it too they they stopped in time too so i guess they was like the same thing like super close to me and like a little bit like you know able able to walk through to that's how close they was to my car and it was a truck behind me and then it was See, this was a four-car collision, y'all. Mind you, four-car collision. So, <clears throat> he would have been all right if the lady if the lady behind him didn't hit him. I would have been all right because he had hit me. Do y'all get that? Like, it was, it was four cars. And it was me, this dude, he was able to stop on time. And then this lady had hit him. And then there was another lady that hit her. So the two cars behind us, they was done. They was over with. But me and him, it was like, you know, it really wasn't our fault or whatever. It really wasn't our fault. So this is my first, mind you, this is my first accident ever in life. So, like, I didn't know what to do. I was, like, I was going to, like, just just leave it alone or whatever but i thought like after you get an accident and if 
if the police is involved with it because we had to like stay after and then get the police to come and do a police report and all that so i thought it was serious and like i had to go and follow up and you know go get the police report and do all the other shit for the insurance so that's what i did i wish i didn't i wouldn't have because like that shit i'm getting to it y'all I just wish I would never even did that because it just got me into a whole bunch of other shit that I ain't even mean to be into. So, after that, after the little accident or whatever, I say like a week went by, y'all. A week went by and um, some people, I think, it was, I think it was my baby daddy or somebody, somebody told me that I should go up there and like do the stuff and get my information and all that because the accident wasn't my fault or whatever and then since the police was involved that i was gonna have to end up doing it either way it go type stuff so that's what i did y'all my dumb self this is this is the story we all been waiting for right here so my dumb self i went to the police station I got a sip on it. I got a sip. <laughs> hmm. Okay, y'all. My dumb ass. I'm just, I'm still like flabbergasted about this day. I'm bewildered. I am just out of there. So, I go trying to like go get the paperwork or whatever down at the police station or you know the police department or whatever you want to call it um excuse me downtown i went downtown trying to go get it or whatever but yeah um so i go downtown y'all to go and get my paperwork and people that know me and people my friends and my family that know me know i carry my gun around right <laughs> y'all already know where it's going huh i'm dumb y'all i'm so dumb okay so they all know i carry my gun around so i went to the dang on police station place and it was a metal detector me not putting two and two together and i i really low-key just forgot my my gun was in my purse because i be keeping it in there so much like it's just it's a normal thing so and something told me to put my gun in my glove my glove box whenever i left out the car before i left out the car to go up to the place but i wasn't even thinking of nothing i'm i mean i ain't you know thinking of nothing of it so yeah y'all I'm go I'm sitting up in there. Still, whenever I went up to the metal detector, nothing dung in my head. So I walked through and I put my purse through or whatever. And the lady, she just slid it through and everything. And she she was about to let me go. And then she was like, Oh no, oh no, and all that acting acting crazy. And then she was like, uh, we need to uh keep her here. And then they was they was talking about like. They started calling other police officers and stuff. And she was like, um, you know what we stopped you for? And I was like, yeah, I know. Because it, it obviously dung after that. Like, of course, it's my gun. So I was like, yeah, I know. Can I just like, shoot, go and put it in my car? Because I forgot that I had it in there or whatever. Like, simple as that. Like, I ain't trying to shoot y'all up or nothing. Let me go put it in my car. Like, so I was like, can I go put it in my car or whatever? And she was like, no, I have to call somebody now or whatever. She gonna ask me, was it a BB gun whenever she first seen it in there? Like, why would I be carrying a BB gun in my in my purse? Like, that's stupid. But, yeah. She thought it was a BB gun at first asking me. She was like, she was like, it's okay, it's okay. Is it a BB gun? I'm like, no, it's a real gun. Like, I know what's in there. I know why y'all y'all done stop me. Just let me go put it up in my purse. I'm just coming to go to get some paperwork type shit. But no, she called the little police officer. And I'm trying to tell you, it be your own people. 
the black police officers be doing more than white police officers be doing. I'm trying to tell you, like, this nigga, this, this dude was doing the absolute most. Like, whenever he came out and stuff, he want to try to act all big and bad, talking about some, like, you just doing shit that he ain't had to do. Like, trying to be all... I can't even explain it, y'all. He was doing the most, though. He was doing the the absolute most. And I'm like, and people was passing by. I'm like, why y'all looking, acting all stupid and stuff like y'all ain't seen no damn gun before? Like, it was this lady that passed by, and she was over there, like, looking all scared and stuff and all crazy and shit. And I'm like, bitch, you act like you never seen no gun before. And then the police officer gonna say, why are you talking? You about to go to jail. And I'm like... I'm like, nigga, you saying that shit like you saying something like, don't tell me if you're going to take me to jail, take me to jail. Like, what you sitting here talking about it for? So after he said that, I called my baby daddy. <laughs> of course. I called my baby daddy. And I was like, I'm like, shit, I'm about to go to jail, basically. So I just wanted to tell him that I was about to go to jail and where he need to, like, come get me at. So I was like... Shoot, I bought my I bought my gun into this uh into this place. I forgot I had it on me and this police officer, this black police officer doing the most and stuff talking about I'm about to go to jail. Like somebody was talking crazy to him or something and he need to calm his ass down. And I like I swear y'all saying all of that. And then he was like he was like, You need to get off the phone, da 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 And I was like, uh, you said you was gonna take me to jail, where you gonna take me at so I can uh tell them and then I get off the phone with you. That's all I need to know. Because, like, after you said jail, that's all I heard. And you act like that's something. Like, I'm going to get out. Shit, I'm going to get out. So, um, so, yeah, he was doing all that. And he was, you know, doing the absolute most, looking at the gun and stuff. Um, took it apart or whatever. Took my, uh, my clip out the, uh, out the gun and everything. And then he just sitting there, and he he want to try to do be extra, and then hang up my damn phone and try to hem me up, and and all that because I and freaking put handcuffs on me for no damn reason. Like I was like, really, you got to do all this damn shit? Like what's the what's? <laughs> it ain't no reason to be doing all this like you doing. And he was like, it is a reason, it is a reason, and all that. And then um. So he hung up my phone or whatever, and he gonna handcuff me, trying to trying to do all that extra shit. I'm trying to tell you, he was being extra, y'all. So he did all that, and then he he gonna tell me to walk with him or whatever. I'm walking slow as shit, taking my damn time. I swear, y'all, I'm giving him the same trouble he giving me. Like since you wanna act like that, like it ain't even no reason to act like that. You could act cool, calm, and collected, cause that's how I was acting. Like I obviously forgot that I had my my gun on me, and then you gonna ask a stupid question. Why do people have guns in this time of age? Like you need to walk around with a gun, especially a woman, because like really you gonna ask a stupid question like that. I mean, you really gonna ask a stupid question like that? That shit pissed me off. So. I'm walking with him and or whatever and I get back to the back or whatever. He take me into some back room waiting for his his high his you know his, the top person, the top police officer, one of the top police officers to come and help him. Ooh. <clears throat> Mind you, he didn't get my name down. He ain't try to get my ID or nothing. He didn't he didn't try to do none of that shit. So you could tell his ass don't know what he doing. So I'm waiting up in there. I'm waiting up in there for like 10 minutes. Like 10 minutes. And the the white man going to come in there. And, well, I ain't even talk about how he was over there trying to hold conversations with me. Like, why you trying to be all friendly now whenever you was just doing all this extra shit? And then... Uh, the white dude came in or whatever. And he asked me all the questions and everything. So he and then asked me my, for my ID and stuff, so he can run my run my name and everything to see if I got any warrants or anything on me, or to see if my gun ain't mine or whatever. Like he should have, like that black dude should have with his dumb ass. But no, his ass wasn't thinking. So the white dude ended up going on going do that. I was sitting in there for another twenty to 30 minutes whenever I only went there 
for my little papers for my accident, the accident report. So I'm just sitting in there, and then the dude want to try to be nice and talk about some, he might just let you go and all that. Uh, and um and and he might give your gun back if you ain't got no warrants or nothing and all that other stuff and and just trying to trying to be nice all of a sudden and i'm and i ain't say nothing to him because he because at first he was asking like why did you have that gun and all that i'm like what other reason do you have a gun for but i ain't even say nothing because that was just a stupid ass question like i just sat there and then he was like he might let you get it back da, 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 whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. and i'm like i really don't even care what you talking about i'm gonna wait till his ass come up in here and tell me because like you trying to be friendly now all of a sudden i don't flex with it. i don't flex with that so i'm waiting the man come back in he was like whoop -de whoop -de whoop why you ain't uh he was like why you ain't never get no gun um no no license to carry because he was asking me how long i had my gun i told him for about two years he was like why you ain't never get no license to carry it's cheaper to get it now and then i'm like because i be working and everything like i really don't be having time to just do that like when it be sounding good but it's like who really got time to do that so he was like, yeah, I understand. Why did you have, why did you get the gun anyways? I'm like, because I'm a black woman and I, I stay to myself and I got a whole kid. Like, it's just me and my kid. Like, what do I use to protect us? Like, who gonna protect us if I don't type shit? And he was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And he was like, okay, well... I ran your background and I ran the gun. The gun is in your name and you ain't never had any any like felonies or anything, anything in your name or whatever. And I was like, I know. And then he was like, he was like, I could send you to uh he said I could send you to jail right now because it's a just like a a uh he didn't say uh he said a a a quote. He was like curi not not curiosity kills the cat. He said something like like that though. He said something like that. Not curiosity though. It was like not knowing type shit. Cause I was like, I thought you can carry a, a gun in Texas if you ain't got no warrants type stuff. That's what I thought. Like you was able to carry a gun as long as you clean. Like and he was like, um, you can, but not even you still wouldn't even be able to do it at a place like this. And if you would have took your gun license, I mean the gun class, you would have known all the places you can go with a gun and all the places you can't. And and after that, I was just like, okay, sir. So what what you trying to do? He was like, well, at this moment, we gonna let you go because you're a good citizen, and and like you just didn't mean to do it so we're gonna just let you go and he was like they was over there conversing to themselves talking about if they should keep the gun or not so he said he was gonna keep the gun for for two months 60 days and he was gonna let me get my gun back i don't know why they did all that stupid bullshit it's really pissing me off because i want my gun right now but yeah they gonna do that he put my gun up in the whatchamacallit so basically i gotta go back up there after this month I think after this month that it happened last month y'all so yeah he was basically saying you you really could we really could bring you to jail right now and all that because the black dude was talking about that would have been three to five years that i would have had to serve in jail for having a gun uh at the police station at the um uh, you know at the station he was like you could serve three to five years for that. That's a felony and all that. And I'm like, I didn't mean to. Like, but yeah, y'all. That was real. It was real. I ain't gonna say it was scary, but it was eye opening. Cause I was like, who gonna ever go to jail? Not me. But I almost went to jail. And not for no little time either. It was it was really about to be for some time. Three to five. A bitch like me can't do three to five. I can't. No. No, ma'am. I can't. Just hang me. 
no 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 don't do that don't do that no i'm just playing but yeah like i could not see myself really doing three to five years and they was like yeah you could have did three to five that would have been a felony but since you clean and all that we're gonna let you go so i was like yes let me go thank (laughs) y'all yeah that's a little story i wanted to tell start y'all with us you know thought was cool well not thought was cool but you know wanted to hear because that was something i was really scared no i wasn't scared but you know you know like that was crazy because all i went up there to do was get some traffic things i keep saying that i all i went up there to do was get a traffic report and they want to try to send me to jail i'm like especially with this corona going on i can't (laughs) i can't and that was whenever the corona like first started getting bad so i'm like i can't I can't be in jail with that. People over there laughing at me. Talking about some, oh, that is a nice looking gun though. Like, leave me alone. Sure. All right, y'all. That's all I wanted to talk about, you know, give y'all a little story, little story. Um, I hope y'all liked it. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so y'all can be notified when I make another lit ass video. Off the tip, y'all already know. <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all next time. Next time, next time. Next time, my baby. Next time, my baby. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you. Next time, next time, next time, next time. Uh, 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 uh